Hey, w welcome to Breaking Stereotypes. It's a time where we talk about American history. Some people think we're talking about politics. We're really not. In fact, I want to just make a quick clarifying statement. When we talk about restoring our nation's foundation and our history and having a Christian emphasis, in no way am I saying or do I believe it would be healthy and I don't believe the forefathers wanted this and that was to create a theocracy. A government forcing people to become Christians and in Christianity. What we're talking about is the values, the principles in our society that are based on biblical moral values. That is the greatest way to live because it's the greatest truths. So today, John Witherspoon, I could say Reverend John Witherspoon. He was a signer of the Declaration of Independence. He was a member of the Continental Congress. He served on over a hundred congressional committees. Uh, he was an American revolutionary patriot of Scottish birth. All you Scots out there can go, yay, amen. He was a former uh, uh, president of Princeton College. Um, under his tutelage uh, included just a long list of vice presidents, Supreme Court justices, cabinet members, governors, senators. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. But in one of his quotes, here's what he said. It is in the man of piety and inward principle that we may expect to find the uncorrupted patriot, the useful citizen, and the invincible soldier. God grant that in America, true religion and civil liberty may be inseparable. Again, only in America are these two things bound together. Let me read that again. God grant that in America, true religion and civil liberty may be inseparable. And that the unjust attempts to destroy the one may in the issue tend to the support and establishment of both. Lord, help us to not just profess our Christian faith, but to truly be Christians. And that makes us some of the best citizens, no matter what country we were to live in. Think about it.